Hello everybody, my name is Wolves and welcome to the Vermander Curse. Now, if you guys remember the man from the window, this is made by the same creator. Yep, a Zed Technician game, I believe, with a happy face at the end, that's always nice. Anyways, this is made by the same creator. Remember the bunny girl? Well, she's not in this game. Uh, uh I was just, you know... That, that's the characters that we're going to be seeing. However, there are humans involved in this game. Uh, well, at least in the few seconds, I believe. And um, I haven't had really many spoilers. But I heard that it's like humans and animals in the same universe or something. Which is cool. I don't care for animals being, you know, human figures in any game. And humans being that you know, in the universe and all. But anyways, let's new game this up. I'm ready to play. See what this is all about as well. All right. Oh, hello, beauty. Oh, oh what the lips do? You wanted to see me, Mr. Varmander, sir? Oh my god. A bit right? Hannah, why aren't them? Why aren't this month's props as high as last month's? I've been looking over that piece of paper you gave me earlier, and I don't like all the numbers on it. I can't make heads or tails out of, it, out of that dang thing. They raised the threshold on how much you need to donate in order to get your tax deductions, remember, sir? They did what? When was this? Sir, I've been reminding you about this for eight months. But it's actually fine, though. You still end up saving way more money than if you didn't get the deductions, so... With the good lord as my witness, I am being swindled. I will not stand for this. No one gets over J.P. Vermin, no sir. Not now, and not ever. But sir... Now then, where have I been donating all my hard-earned money into again? What? The hospital, sir. Hospital? Which one? There's only one in town, sir. The only hospital in this godforsaken backwater town, and they still had the nerve to swindle me out of my money. <laughs> Well, I know exactly how to s handle a situation like this. Prepare the ritual, Hana, and go fetch me my robes. The ritual? But, Mr. Vermander, sir, please. This is entirely uncalled for. The per the people in that hospital have done nothing... I can't read! Oh my goodness! Read, wolves! Read! Besides, the differences in profits between this month and last month is only about 1% less, sir. Is that bad or good? I don't know profits. That's nice and all, Hannah. But I don't remember asking. Wow, you are one... You're like one of those rich boys, aren't you? You get everything that you want. Now go. We don't have time to waste. Notify me immediately when everything is ready. Okay, sir. Dude, I like these characters' models. Like, these character models are really nice. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, hello. That's a tall ra- He's about as tall as a door. Hello? Hello? Anyone home? Anyone home? What? I hear ya. I hear ya. Give a gal a minute. Alright. What are we saying? <laughs> Jesus! I'm still in love! <laughs> Jeez. My gosh! Yeah? <laughs> Is that an anteater? <laughs> Why does she have such a long nose? Snout, or whatever. Uh, hello there, Dr. Ida, I presume? That's me. Who's asking? Fantastic. I'm Morton, the nurse who transferred requests you received. Transfer requests? Why in the world are you talking about? You aren't aware. Surely you read the email concerning me. We don't get no regular internet out here, Sonny Boy. Sony Boy or Sonny Boy? I, I, I don't know if I read that wrong. Only thing we can get out here is that whole out satellite connection. And we ain't got that either. But if you're here to help, then I ain't about to complain. Yeah. Yeah, I got a lot to learn, so you better pay attention, because I'm only saying this once. I'm all ears, Doctor. Alright. When patients come in, I write their information down on this here clipboard. Wouldn't it be better to use the computer instead? No. Jeez. Just straight res 
response. My gosh! <laughs> the waiting room is over here. Ain't much to say about it. All the magazines are older than I am, and it ain't got none of them worth reading no more. Oh my. Okay. So this is kind of like budget eyes, I guess, or budget, like, hospital? Dang. We got eight rooms. Three are occupied, and the rest ain't. Mr. Lane Boyd's over in room 7A. He had a pretty bad back injury, but we fixed him up right up. <laughs> Miss Tammy Gills is in room 1A. She needed one of them teeth pulled, and we ain't got many options for an aesthetic. So I gave her some of that old-fashioned medicine I kept under the sink. Okay, under the sink? Wait, hold on, what? She'll be a little dizzy for a while, but everything else went smooth as silk. Impressive. There's a woman over in 4A, too. Poor thing cut her hand up real bad on her job, then tried to hide it. Her boss found out and sent her here. I ain't managed to figure out her name, so I wrote her down as Jane Doe and patched her up. Ah, mystery. I wonder who she is. We ain't no to ask too many questions around here, Mr. Morton. We're here to help. Got it? Understood, Doctor. Okay. This is nice, actually. We got two bathrooms, an operating room, and something like a kitchen. Oh, excellent. The lights in here don't work half of the time. We keep our medicine supply in the OR, but most of the bottles are empty because they budget ain't paying them to refill. And there ain't nothing ever in the fridge, so don't even bother checking. Oh, does anything in this hospital function as intended? Not really. And that's about it. Let's head back on to the front desk so we can get you signed in and start your first shift. Hey, it's... Doing it for at least a little bit of cash, that's fine. At least you're trying to help, Mr. Morton. Well, the sign-in sheet is somewhere over here. I suggest you go ahead and start searching for it yourself, because I ain't about to come looking for it. Understood, Doctor. I'll find it. In the meanwhile, I'd better go make my rounds and check up on the patients. Come and get me if you need something. Alright. And we are in. Oh my goodness. We <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. You are tall as well. How tall are you? Like 6'8"? My goodness. Are you using a book as a mouse pad as well? Hey. Limited options. Okay. So let's go and check all the people. So 1A. Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna be in love with all these characters, aren't I? So is, this, is this an axolotl? How you feeling, dear? Hey, Dr. Ida. What are you doing here? Still ain't sobered up yet, huh? Nope. Or oh, his name is Tammy, okay. That's fine, dear. At least that tooth ain't gonna bother you no more. Just give it some time and try to get some rest, okay? Okay. Okay. I love these characters, man. Uh, wait. No, it was, uh, 6A and 7A? I believe where everybody is? Oh, no. Wait. Where's... Okay, maybe I should check on the... Oh, hell. <laughs> That's an octopus. My goodness. Alright. Don't ask why I look down. How you doing, dear? Okay. Hand is fine. No. You ain't got nothing to worry about. It'll re go back as new. What? Back good as new. Okay. Good. Thank you. You are most welcome, dear. Try to get some rest and I'll check back in a minute. Or later. Yes, yes. Okay. I'm gonna leave her to rest in 7A was the... <sighs> Hello? My goodness, you... <laughs> <laughs> Why is my relationships weird? Hello, Big Bad Wolf. My goodness, what red eyes you have. Are you the demon? Everything all right in here? I'm fine, Doctor. Uh, I'm fine, Doc. Matter of fact, I feel like I could walk out here right now. <laughs> Ow. See? He came and laughed without hurting him. This is exactly why I said, Lang, baby, please stay off the roof. It's dangerous. We can pay someone else to clean the gutters. But did he listen? No. He waited until I left for work and tried to get up there himself. One little gust of wind and next thing you know, bam! Straight into the hedges. You know, I could have done it in the, if the wind hadn't picked up. 
That's not the point. You shouldn't have been up there in the first place. Doctor, can you please give this man something to fix his ter terminal lack of common sense, please? Sorry, honey, but we ain't got nothing to fix that. Now you two try to take it easy, alright? I'll be back later. Alright. Alright, that's everyone. I better go check on Mr. Morton. Okay. Oh, hi, Mr. Morton. How are you doing? Dr. Ida, uh, the phone started ringing while you were gone, so I answered it. And? The caller won't s stop going on and on about rituals and demons, among other things that I don't understand. I think that it might be best if you talk to her. <sighs> There's always something. Okay. So... Honey, honey, slow down. Ain't none of this making sense. Oh, okay, Hannah. Please, you have to get out of there right now. My boss just summoned an actual, genuine demon, and now you're all in danger. Uh-huh, and who do you work for again? J.P. Vermund, sir. Vermander. What? Vermander. Who's that, Doctor? He's some rich city boy who moved out here when his he inherited his father's estate. A lot of folks around here have to pay him rent just because his aunt family owns the land. Yes, that's exact, that's him exactly. I can't read! Read! I don't know all the details, but there's a blood pact and a demon and a curse and all of this other stuff. You need to leave now. Once the clock strikes 10 o'clock, you won't be able to leave. Honey, that's less than two minutes. Ain't no way get, we're getting everyone out here fast. My goodness, I didn't expect the stake to be high on my first night, but I'm committed at this point. Is there anything we can do to help our situation? I do go- I did go snooping into a few old journals kept by the Vermanders. Based on what I've read, if you can't make it to sunrise, the demon will leave. But there's a bunch of rules you'll need to follow in order to keep yourself safe. For example, she's got, the, she's got her arm on a hip and everything. Every hour until sunrise, the demon will enter the place it was summoned to. It will travel down the nearest hallway in search of blood, specifically your blood. Its own rules prevent it from opening doors to search for you, so keep these keep those closed. What rooms are the bo are you both in right now? In the reception area. You'll need to keep that in mind, all right? When the demon arrives, make sure you're all in the same room as when the ritual started. Okay, so stay in the receptionist. Okay, so. Okay, we got we gotta remember this. So we need to stay in the receptionist. Does that go for everybody else? They do they need to stay in their rooms, or do they need to stay in the receptionist room or something? If someone isn't, the demon will know, and once it knows when someone is, closing the doors won't stop it. If you're ready, I can tell you what to accept once expect once ten o'clock hits. I ain't about to let no demon run wrong shod over my house of healing. Just tell us what we need to do, honey. Okay, here's what's going to happen first. The demon places a lot of empathy on windows for some reason, right? It'll try to use its powers to open up windows around itself. You're going to need, and I cannot stress this enough, you're going to need to close any and all windows before the hour is up. Leave one open, the demon gets stronger. And you don't want that all, right? What? All right. <laughs> if you finish with everything you need to do before the hour is up, try staring at the clock. I'm sure it would help pass the t extra time faster. I'll stay on the line just in case you need some to repeat something. Good luck, and please be careful. Okay. Sorry for my bad reading, by the way. All right. So, we have to look... For any- Oh, you scared the heck out of me, I forgot you were here. So do we need to- Tammy sits happily humming to herself. Are we not going to bring these guys in? I guess not. Um... I'm guessing we're not gonna- Is that an open window? Oh, it is! That was an open window, okay. So I gotta do that. Hello, hello. How you doing, miss? Hi. Tired. On. Work. Sleep for a minute. Then hand caught. He fell asleep at work, and that's how that hand got like that. Yes. Oh, you poor thing. Well, at least try to get some rest while you're here, alright? Oh, okay, so she was 
She was working hard. She's a hard worker. Hey, she might need a raise. I don't know why I was like, hey, hello, guys. Why is your door open? Close that door. Y'all sleep good now. Oh, what the heck happened in here? Jeez. AA. I don't know what happened. Kitchen? Anybody in the kitchen? Okay. Looks like everything is good. All right. So. Oh, yeah, I can run. Okay. Hey, double checking on y'all. Alright, I don't know why I'm keeping this voice up, but I am double checking on y'all. Alright, the bathroom. Oh, hello me! I barely fit in the door. Okay, I shouldn't say that. I'm guessing that's all. Maybe there's- is there one in, um, the waiting room? I guess not. Oh shoot, I just locked myself inside. Okay. Am I good? Can I- Oh. Okay, the time was now 11 p.m. All the windows had been closed, and then they arrived. Okay, so I can look at the clock. Yo, does this bring back memories? Whoa. I'm glad it didn't turn left. Okay. Okay, I see the gist. I see the gist. This is nice. All right, let's do it. Here's what's going to happen next. The demon will try to draw power from any light it can gain access to, right? You'll know it's inside a room trying to symphony, siphon power when the light starts flickering. When it happens, all you need to do is enter the room, close the door, and shut your eyes for a few seconds. You're really going to need to use the space inside your mind to focus for this one to work. You'll know it worked when the light starts flickering. And make sure you do it right, okay? If you don't, then... Doctor, you look tired. That's cause I am. Then let me handle this hour. You should rest. Oh, Mr. M Morton. Being the king. My goodness, we are tall as heck. We are literally the size... We are... Like, we are the size of the door. Alright, so... Oh, oh, okay, um, how do I shut eyes? Shut eyes, sir. Oh, oh, space? Okay, space. It's good? Okay, I think it's good. There we go. Alright, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, let's go. Wait a minute, was there somebody? No! Wait, there's somebody? Wait, 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 wait! There's somebody missing! Uh, hello, how are you doing? Hurting, it again, anything to, please? Hurting, what is hurting? There's somebody missing! Look at me, see I'm barely as tall as door. Look, Tammy is missing! No! Wait, where's Tammy? Tammy? Whoa, Tammy is gone! Uh, miss, uh, just, I was stretching a little bit, sorry. The Tammy girl is gone. Where's the Tammy girl? Where's the axolotl? Hello? Oh, what the heck? Why are you doing here? Hey. Ma'am, please. Strange things are happening tonight, and I need you to get back to your room. <laughs> My bad. I'll go back now. Okay. Jeez, that's a chair? I didn't think that was a- Oh, it's a desk. Oh, what did I just do? The pain meds are kept here. Pick up meds? What? What did I just get? It? What? How are you doing? Okay, you doing fine? Okay. Who can I... What? Who can I give this to? Hi. Can I give this to you? Since your hand was hurting? Ma'am, I brought you your scheduled pain medication. Yes. Good. Okay. Wait, do I have to do that for everyone? Oh, no. Do I even have time? I don't even know if I have time. Pain meds. Okay. Take one. Alright, wait, hold on. What's the time? What's the time? Before we do that, what's the time? We gotta check the time first. What's the time? Uh, we have time for maybe one. Hi. <laughs> oh, wait. She didn't take it. Okay, go, 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 go. Hello, sir. 
The job, Lang. Now you're probably going to leave, have to miss work. Who knows how they will react. Heck, and now I'm missing work. I know. We'll be fine. Watch, come morning, I'm gonna walk out of here good as new. <sighs> I sure hope. Okay, well, uh, they didn't take the med. I'm gonna go. I hope uh, time doesn't, you know, move while I'm in a conversation. Okay. The time was down 12 o'clock. All the windows have been closed. None of the lights have been left flickering. And then it arrived. Okay. Ooh. We, we left a door open. But nobody was in the OR. Nobody was in the OR. We're fine, we're fine. Okay. Oh man, the sounds that it makes! It's got some heavy feet! Okay, yeah, nobody was in the OR. I'm guessing. Let's go! Are we fine? We should be fine, okay. Cool, cool. Here's what's going to happen this time. There's something about the demon's power that resonates with TV signals, right? It will turn on any TV it can manage to gain access to. They never show anything besides static once it turn takes control, but there's still that's still bad. If it happens, just turn the TV off. That'll kick it out for a while. But don't leave any TVs that it's controlling on, alright? It won't end well. I ain't as tired anymore. You can let me handle things this time. Sounds good to me, Doctor. You take this hour and I'll take the next. Alright, tag team coordination. Oh, I thought I saw something. Okay, go, go, go. Is Tammy here? Tammy is not. TV, okay. We're fine. Okay. So, ooh, okay. We're fine, we're fine. TV is off as well. So, we're fine in here. Oh, hello, miss. How are you doing? Here. Best rest in in long time. Uh, here's the best rest in a long time. Hey, better shut that door. Oh, clicking room. Let's go. Shut your eyes. Shut your eyes. The light will go off in time. Hello, how you guys doing? i uh, just check on you. I know, we like to check on people a lot. Hi, Tammy. Hi. Hey, why is it so dark in here? That's happened in the last week, and we ain't cleaned up yet. But pay no mind. You need to go on and get yourself back to your room now. <laughs> my bad. I'll go back now. This axolotl is so cute. Aw, uh, I love axolotls sometimes. Wait, hold on. Did we check on... No, we didn't check on these guys. Are you alright? Just promise me you won't be going do something reckless again, alright? As of tonight, I am officially staying far, far away from the roof and ladders, too. Unless we can save some extra money if I- Lane! <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't look at me like that. Alright. Everything looked fine. Bathroom? Okay. Nothing in the bathroom. Next bathroom? Nothing. Okay, okay. Should be good. Everything good? Okay, I think everything's good. Is there a TV in here? TV in here? TV in here? No? Okay. No. Come in. Thank you. Alright. I think I can go. Please tell me nothing changed. All oh, the windows have been closed. TV vision. Lights flickering. Yes! We're good! Alright. It's gonna be coming in. What is he gonna do? Things close. We're fine. Awesome. Let's go. Man, he is fast. I want to. I want to know what these monsters look like. I want to know what the man from the window looks like. Here's what's going to happen next. You'd be surprised on how much the demon's powers resonate with electronics. It can gain access into the telephone lines and try to gain powers too. If you notice the phone continuously ringing, then that's exactly what it's trying to do, alright? Now, this is going to sound crazy, but you need to pick up the phone up and listen. Pay attention, because this part is important. If you hear anything, and I mean ANYTHING, on the other end, you gotta recite this mar mantra. Your presence is not welcome here. You must depart immediately. Don't worry, you'll remember it when the time comes. But if there's silence on the other end, then keep quiet. 
Silence means it hasn't properly figured out the phone's location yet. And you don't want to give it any clues, alright? Alright, alright. Well, we're Mr. Morton. Morton. We still have the pill. Okay. We're fine, we're fine. Here. Oh, Tammy is gone again. Oh, the thing was on. Listen closely. You can hear any faint whisper on the other end? That's when we recite. Your presence is not welcome here. Please depart immediately or however. You can sense that the person on the other side of the end of the phone has departed. Okay. There's a lot that we're going to have to do. So we're going to have to rush this a little bit. Ooh, lights flickering. I can tell you that. That is bad. All right. So Tammy is gone. Tammy. It'd just be bad if we walked into while she was, you know, using the bathroom. Hello, miss. How are you doing? You're on. All right. Good. You're right. You're all right, you fought Tammy. My goodness. Hey, there's some lady in the mirror looking at me. I believe that's you, ma'am. Strange things are happening tonight, and I need you to get back to your room, please. <laughs> My bad. I'll go back now. Oh, she's so cute. She's so cute as a, you know, lady. Okay, everything's fine in there? Oh, window. I see you. I see you. We're fine, we're fine. All right. How you guys doing? You need your meds? Sir, I brought you your scheduled pain medication. Just in time. My back was starting to act up again. Phew. Alright, that's good. That's good. Alright. Anything in here? No. Kitchen? Anything? Anything? No. Okay. And then the OR doesn't have anything. Okay. I think everything is good. Tammy. I don't hear anything. Don't see anything. Okay, are we good, doctor? Let's go. Is it good? Are we good? All the windows have been closed. Television is off. Lights have been flickering. Answers were called correctly, I think that said. And then it arrived. Man, I want to see this thing so bad. Oh, man. So, it's like a game of hide and seek. Except you check the same area twice. This is cool. This would be really cool in real life, but very scary in real life as well. Alright, what's next? What's next? There's one final thing this demon is going to try. Ritualistic candles. It has the power to manifest them inside its area of influence. It's vital and very, very important that if you see one, you extinguish it. If you let it keep burning, the demon will be able to draw power from it. It won't try anything new after it gets to this part, so you don't have to worry about any more rules. Oh, and I almost forgot something, too. This part is very important, too. Whatever you do, make sure you don't... Oh, we cut off the power. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Oh, Tammy. Tammy? Why is she... Is she asleep? I guess she's asleep. Okay. We gotta go, we gotta go. Alright, you listen closely. Don't hear anything from the other side of the phone. We say nothing. He says that the presence on the other hand has departed. Nice. Alright. We don't say anything. Okay. <gasps> Candle. Okay. Yep. Blow that out. There we go. Everything's good. No, let me out of the room. Ooh, miss. Uh, hope you weren't cold. She's asleep? She's asleep. She has an eye closed. The room's flickering. I don't know how you guys aren't awake. Sorry. If you wake up and see me with my eyes closed, I just fell asleep, okay? Okay. Everything? Come on. Was there something right behind me? Did you guys see that? Mr. Morton, that bear have been you. That bear have been you. Actually, no, that that thing went the other way. Was there something right behind me? I swear I just saw something. Hold on, play that back real quick, if I can. I swear I saw something in that mirror. I don't know if it was actually something, but I swore I saw something. Nothing was wrong. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. Okay. Let's go. Oh my goodness. All the doors. Or all the win- All the windows are open! Why? Oh! Oh my god! Close that! Get out of here! What the heck? Is that the mon- That's the monster! Dude, that thing look like a, a flippin' werewolf! It's a literal werewolf with white eyes. It's you, it's your flipping cousin, sir. You listen closely. You don't hear anything on the other side of the phone. Say nothing. Sir, your cousin is here. Why is he part of... 
All the windows have been closed. All the televisions have been turned off. None of the TVs. None of the phones. None of the candles. Nice, we're good. Dude. Is this what's hunting us? I think this is what's hunting us. Oh, man. We're fine. Oh, we're fine. Even with the power off, you aren't going to kill any of us. I'm going to protect. That's what hospitals do. We protect and heal. Listen closely. Hear a faint whisper on the other side. Recite that mantra, whatever. <gasps> oh, no. No. It's in. Mr. Morton. Mr. Morton. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. He was just tricking me. He just wanted me to stay in that corner. Go, go. Oh, my goodness. All oh, the windows have been closed. All the televisions have been turned off. None of the lights, none of the phones, none of the candles. The sun began to rise upon our little town. The demon could not stay in this world much longer. However, in direct violation of the Mer Vermander Pact, no blood had been spilled that night. The most important part of the pact had not been fulfilled, which meant that the agreement was now null and void. After generations of being enslaved to the Vermander family, the demon was finally free. And though it did not have much time left, it knew exactly how it wished to spend its final moments. How? <gasps> he went after the Vermander! Is that the Vermander? Oh, it is! Hannah, what in the world are you doing back here this early? Hannah? Hello, Mr. Vermander. Oh, it's you. Don't you have some work to be doing? What do you want? Why are you looking at me like that? Don't you forget that you work for me, mister. I command you to get out of here. Why won't you listen to me, you stupid? Oh, snap. The angry howls of the demon echoed throughout the town that morning. And then the East Eight fell deadly quiet. As it turned out, Hannah had left the Vermander East Eight that previous night. She had been far too tired to return home after feeding instructions to the phone all night. Instead, she fell asleep in one of the manor's empty rooms. She was awakened by the awful noise emitting from upstairs. Hannah climbed the stairs and quickly made her over to the office. Inside there lied. J.P. Vermander, beaten, unmoving, and absolutely mangled. But against all the odds, he was still alive. Hannah had a choice to make. A large part of her wanted to simply leave him there to give him the same dis disrespect and disregard that he showed it to others. And she turned to leave, but deep down inside, she knew that she wasn't. It, it it this wasn't the right thing to do. She's going to save him. That's what I would do as well. At hey, at least you know if this happened, he could go to jail or something. All the money could go into the hospital, and I don't know how it works. As bad as he was, she wouldn't not stoop to his level. Yep. So instead, she called for help. Yep. Always do your choices. Not as others do. So, oh wait, he's in the hospital! In an ironic turn of events, J.P. Vermander's life was saved at the very same hospital he had tried to get rid of himself. Despite their rightful and justified anger at the man, Dr. Ida and Nurse Morton treated him no different than any other patient. And he was soon on the road to a full recovery. During his stay in the hospital, he was given a room near the front. Day after day, he watched the patients as they come, came and went. He watched as the hospital's only doctor and sole nurse did their best to help everyone, every person that arrived. And he watched, he realized something. Their confusing numbers on that little piece of paper actually meant something. Those numbers represent actual people. People with lives and emotion. People that just wanted to get the help they deserved. 
It took a near-death experience at the hands of an angry demon and an intensive stay at the hospital. That extra 1% didn't mean nothing. But JP finally felt something that no Vermander had felt for a very long time. Remorse. And he vowed he would do everything in his power to try and make, make amend. Hey. It's all a happy ending. It's all a happy ending. However, due to the pack being broken, most of the wealth and power it gained are soon lost to crippling debt. With no other option, JP sold off his estate and that's set to pay his dues. And the last remaining bit of his fortune was donated to the hospital. Yes! As a sign of goodwill, Dr. Ida let him stay in one of their vacant rooms until he could get back on his feet. He is currently working as a fast food delivery to make his meat, as he wasn't qualified for anything else. Alright, nice. Though, he does miss his honey and his old fash- Oh. Though, he does miss his money and his old lifestyle. In the end, he's just thankful to be alive. Hey, I would be a lot- Or, I would be thankful too. Hey, how you do to doing? You look lovely. Morton settled into his new job as a nurse just fine. I like how he has the little piercing in his ears as well. Despite the rough first night, he grew to love this strange new town and its people. In the end, he knew that the decision to move here was the best one for both him and his daughter. Ida is still the best and only doctor in town. She plans to use the donation money to renovate the hospital so that they can provide the best care possible for years and years ahead. And now that they had an actual budget, she decided to hire on a new accountant. Hannah! Hello, Miss Hannah! Hannah happily accepted the position as her old job was no longer available. Of course, she's glad to finally have a boss that appreciates her hard work. And though it took a while, she did eventually forgive Vermander for all his misdeeds. The hospital had a bright future ahead of it, and everyone was on good terms. And that's all that mattered. Hey, she's smiling. Was she smiling before? I don't think she was smiling before. That's cute! Oh, it's a happy ending! Hey, the Vermander curse. Oh, wait! We got two stars! Oh, snap! Okay! Wait, is there three stars? How do I get three stars? Is there three? I, you know what? I'm gonna- I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna keep it like that. I'm gonna keep it that way. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would definitely help me and support the channel as well. Guys, this is a really fun, like, this, this, um, creator of this game, the person who makes these games, is awesome. They are so smart, and, like, they're, like, it's so cool how they make, um, these games, and, you know, it's, it's such a good idea with the game, and, like, how the game works, and operates, and, uh, the detail, and basically what I'm trying to say is, uh, the, how the I don't know actually uh, I, I can't find the word but anyways this is a really fun game if you guys want to go play it link will be down in the description below it is so fun and uh yeah anyways hope you guys enjoyed and I will play that next game that I've seen from this uh, same creator next time and bye